Hello! In this video, I'm going to walk you through finding and using the Fibonacci price tools for we're technically going to be using eSignal 12, but eSignal 11 is the exact same interface. So, within eSignal here, when you are viewing a chart, right up on the top here, you will notice a Drawing Tools button. When you click on that, that's going to bring up a separate submenu here with all of the unlabeled tools. They do all have tooltips, though. If you just hover over it, it'll tell you what they are. The ones that we are looking for, though, are these two right here. We are looking for Fibonacci Retracement, which is the two-pointed tool, and then Fibonacci Extension, which is the three-pointed tool. So first, let's take a look at the two-pointed tool, Fibonacci Retracements. And we click there to highlight that tool, and we click once to draw the top of a swing, and once to draw the bottom of a swing. And once we have those levels drawn, we can go ahead and right click, oops, right click on one of the levels and choose edit to customize them to our liking. So in here, this is one thing that actually caught me off guard, you can move your slider two ways, so up, down, and left, right. You'll start off right here. I'm going to adjust this for my own personal preferences to show you some things along the way. You can obviously choose to ignore anything that I've done or customize this to your liking. So really when I use the two-pointed tool, all I want to see is the 1272 and the 1618 extensions. So I will turn off the baselines. I'll go down here. I do like the lines to extend to the right because we trade off the right of the chart, not the left. So I want to see that. And then inside of here, I will turn off all of those inside labels just because I, I don't use them. And then from there, I'll go in and add the 1.272 and also the 1.618 extensions. And you can change the, the colors, do literally whatever you want. I mean, since this is just a demo, let's just imagine the color is exactly what you would like to see. Once we have everything set up the exact way you want it, you can also go down here and click this Templates button, and you can set it as default, which means now every time I go back and use this Retracements tool, it's just going to give me those two levels that I want to see. Nothing else. I think that's pretty slick. So now let's go ahead and remove these guys and show you the three-pointed tool. So the three-pointed tool, just to the right, Fibonacci extensions. We'll go ahead and click on that. And same thing. Let's just draw from a swing high to a swing low. And then use the third point to draw from the most recent swing high. Now from there, once again, we will just right click one of those line levels and choose Edit. And inside of here, same sort of deal. With the three-pointed tool, I only like looking at the 100% level for symmetry reasons. So I will turn off the distances base. I will extend the line to the right. And then I will scroll down here and turn off everything but the 1% or 100%. Now, this is where it caught me off guard the first time I was playing with this. You have to scroll to the right to find the other two coefficients that are turned on. But <laughs> Once you shut those off, you can do the same thing. Go down to Templates, set as Default. However you like it, this is how I like it. We'll hit Close. And now, every time you use the three-pointed Fibonacci tool, draw, 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 you will just get your customized levels as you want them. Well, I certainly hope that was helpful. If you do have any other questions for me or anything else I can do to help you out, just log on to Simpler Trading, go to your foundation dashboard, click on the Simpler Tech icon, and there's a button right up top for you to submit questions to me. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon.